I've not actually listened to the song, but... Hello, welcome back to Trailblazer Heretic. I'm the man with the gun. It is time to administer lead justice. Or steel justice. Why do people make bullets out of lead anyway? Is it because of the density? Is it because of the malleability? A lot of reasons to use lead. A lot of reasons to eat lead. And that kind of stuff. I'm kind of curious how, Her how Hexen handles this. I assume that because it's based on the Guncaster engine, so to speak, um, the functionality is similar. Uh, you'll find weapons in bundles and all that, and use this like generic ammo types for different weapon classes. Wow. It's like they give you the ethereal crossbow, and they're just like, hey, you want to you get fucked now? We can, we can get you some fuck. Got fucking spades here. a lot about uh, how this works in the background. So you might wonder why I'm doing this. I'm just trying to have fun. I'm taking a little bit of time to, to cool down, unwind, stick my feet up in the air like I just don't care, and uh, try and relax. That wall does not open. I assume those walls will open when shit... Oh no, those won't open so now. I don't know what the fuck that sound effect's about. I wish I did. Wait a second. Wait a second. So there's a little extra animation if you actually reload it completely empty. How neat. Homing grenades, which are the alt fire, which launches bouncing grenades, which generally aren't that exciting to use, but uh, there we go. I forgot I have the, 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 the rock pack. Oh, I have ammo chunky. I picked up the key. Could you imagine making a mod and it shrinks your pickup range and it fucks all those sh that shit up? What a dick move that would be. I thought there would be something here, but I guess not. Well, you know what they say, if you got the ammo, don't stop shooting. The enemy wins when you, when you, when you drop your TPS. I've mentioned this before, and I think that it still applies. Now we gotta go back. There's a reason I like this pistol a lot. It's that pinpoint accuracy that really makes it a killer. Can you jump in Heretic? I keep forgetting if you can jump in Heretic. I think he can. I think it's like the big thing that Heretic is like, Ah, oh, you can jump in this video game. Get down on the ground, Mr. President. I mean to save you. A wolf? Soul fear. Super grenade. Super. Wait, 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 wait. That's the end of the level? Also, I really. But yeah, that's the end of the freaking level. Really? It's a little uh, early, don't you think? Little, uh. Well, I guess these are the old levels, so they couldn't really do all that much. Forgot to pick up the yellow fucking key because I'm an idiot. Great, I'm an idiot. See? Pistol's just so much better. You know what'd be fun to do one time is uh, do Guncaster, but spells only. 
The reason I think spells are only interesting to do is it changes the dynamics so much because you're reliant on one single pool. And it, like, yes, the spells are good, but you're gonna have to set up your spells. I'm gonna have to set up fucking quick spells. I'm probably gonna have to make a complete replica of the folders. I don't fuck up all my, my, my settings, because I don't. I, I basically have to reset everything. Like, how does it work? Well, differently now, because now I have to set up my fucking ammo, my 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 spells, and my my my, my quick use, my my button up shirt. Quick use that button up shirt, kids. Yeah, see that level, so okay, I see. Well, that's nice and dandy, but it doesn't open the door, does it? Oh, there she is. Cool. That's a nice upgrade. Cool. The creator, Lava Pits. Oh, yeah, this is where those guys come in. What are they called again? They're called Slaughters or something? Or Marauders? I do the upgrade for this when I can, because I'm probably going to be stuck with this for a while like I was last time. So I think about these guys I never got. They, they really feel like they're a lot more solid than they are. Even now, they still have that rigidity to them. It's a bit of, it's, a bit, it's a nice cloudy day, so it's not like a big deal, but... It's one of those days where it doesn't hurt, you know. Cool. I kind of want to find that old heretic, uh... Hexen thing that I found. Like I, I played a couple of nice heretic and hexens over the over the over the days. One of them had like a really cool ice level. That was cool. It's too much to ask for this to not just explode in my face every single step I take. Sorry, sir, but your mightiest spell is no match for my mightiest shotgun. Oh, there's so much cool shit here. It gave me a jetpack, didn't it? Yep. Yeah, I think it did. So, the jetpack is the Rings of Wrath, because unlike in Doom, where you... In Doom, you really didn't get to do this, but... Um... Uh, in Doom, you could never fly, you could never jump, you could never really gain altitude, you were stuck wherever you were. With your feet firmly planted on the ground. Now, in Heretic, they were like, you know what, what if we just let the character fly and jump and do a whole bunch of cool shit? And, um, so they built their game around that a bit. By giving you an item that lets you fly. Sneak! Sneak, sneak, sneak. Neato potato, boy. I gotta say, though, that's similar to... Well, this happens a lot less in, in Guncaster. There are moments where I really feel like I get way too many things. Uh, and I think I kind of need to explain something, which is... Uh, some people might be like, okay, last video you talked about some pretty heavy shit, and it's like, hey, we're worried about you, and I want to say this. I am able to make a distinction between the things I say, the things I mean, and the things I think. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a grown adult. I have, uh, I have the ability to make the conscious decision to do something. Or to not do something, you know? I kind of feel cheap that this just completely nullifies the ethereal mechanic, which, for the most part, just makes enemies a little bit more annoying to hit, because they are immune to certain types of projectiles and attacks, including the fire mace, which is completely useless against them. Um, yeah. I don't know what to say. Someone should be joining up in the call at some point, but uh, they're a person that I don't trust will show up on time, because they're that kind of person. Like, why did they use this sound effect? Oh, 
I like how he just tempts you. He's like, hey, you want to try again, boy? This fucking noise. Like, yes, I get it. I'm shooting a, a cool guy again. He's the cool bad man. I forgot where that's from, but it's dumb. Have I achieved anything here? Those must have been casters. Those must have been dead men. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm an adult. I'm an adult who can make the... Like, a lot of people can't do this, but let me tell you this. I, I know the difference between the things I say and the things I... will my, my, my deeds, my words, and uh, all that shit. I'll say one thing, I'll do another. That may sound like a bad thing, but it also means you never know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I feel that my conscious mind is, is, is the, 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 the mental fortitude, the, 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 the willpower, as they call it in some contraries, to uh, not do something completely fucking stupid. Man, I wanna play that fortress level again, that was amazing. I just want to play a nice classic. You know. But now we're up here, but those platforms existed. Did this passage open yet? Now it has. Oh, hello. Don't you don't you summon that? Go away. Shoo. So the reason this sucks is it does continuous damage and it throws you the fuck around. It also throws your aim off by miles. It's the most annoying thing ever. Uh, it turns slowly, but it also moves erratically from time to time. It's just a very difficult to deal with thing. Why does that? Why does that reset to squish you? <sighs> Whatever. Oh, this level's neat. I like the little uh, little. I don't like um. The darkness of these levels, like holy crap, is there a lot of darkness going on in these levels? But uh, I know why they did it. It's because you can pick up torches, and the torches are like, oh, you can see, and it, and it flickers, and it feels like direct torchlight. But my God, do I not give a fuck? It was back in the day when people were like, hey, we can do a cool gimmick, and they didn't actually think that gimmick actually helps the game or hinders it. I wonder how I'm efficient these things are compared to vanilla doing weapons. Like, is this even is this better or worse than the? Minigun. Say what you want, the minigun is always going to be like the thing that most things can compare to. Because if you have ammo for it, the minigun's great. The, the chain gun, I mean. I keep calling it the minigun because I... In my head, they are miniguns. That's what I was always told they, that they were. But they're not. They're chain guns. They're, it's called the chain gun. Well, this is so hard for my brain, but it just is. Or tubular? Jesus. At least this is an Hexen. Hexen just spawns in random enemies from time to time. It's like, ah, this is fine. I'm like, no, it's not. No, no, you can't do that, sir. 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 I understand that in the, in the design document looks like, okay, it, it. The problem is, it's a, it's a puzzle game. So you don't want. You want to complete the levels as fast as possible, but you don't know how to complete them quite yet. So the game is like, do it faster, 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 but you don't even know what you're supposed to do. Which, um... As you know, it's a bit of a... Uh, uh, contradiction. Spontaneous freedom. Which allows me to go... Bum, 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 bum. I don't know what it does. I think it just randomly gives me or something? I don't know. Well, now that we have infinity ammo, we just need to keep shooting. Our ammo efficiency goes up with every second we fire. Look at that efficiency. Mm. 
I nabbed the contents of a box of bullets. I love these descriptions, they're amazing. I kind of wish that it did the thing where, like, if you exit the level, you get, like, one jetpack. Little, little jetpack, little nugget. So that it kind of replicates the, uh, the feeling of the old heretic. Of, uh, you lose your shit. You might say, oh, that's frustrating. But no, it isn't. It, it, the, the thing I like about it is it kind of suddenly encourages you to just use your shit, you know? Not, don't, don't sit and hoard. Just use your shit. You're gonna lose it anyway. So the thing that a lot of people forget about is... So, so here's the thing, right? Like, you're, you're, you're playing the good old-fashioned Dungeonies and Dragones. Um, you're playing 5e and you're thinking, I'm, I'm having a great time! And you have inspiration, you're like, okay. You generally get like one, maybe two inspiration per, per, per session, you know? So you're like, okay, we're gonna fight the big boss. Um, or you're under the assumption that you're gonna fight something big because you're in a dungeon, you're pretty deep in the dungeon. So you're like, okay, I'll fight the boss this session and I'll use my inspiration to, to deliver that killer blow or to, to make sure that my save or die doesn't completely flunk it. Man, I looked at I, I looked at 4e, and apparently 4e is pretty cool. Uh, 4e gets the job done. I, I, I want, and I want to give 4e a try. Uh, apparently, it's super cheap to get, so that's nice. Um, anyway, what was I talking about? Um, so. You're, you're, you're playing, and then you're like, oh no, I want to spend my inspiration. And it's like, nope, we're, we're stopping here. And it's like, what? And you just get angry, because... There's only a few situations in which inspiration is spent properly. Either you spend inspiration liberally, and you don't give a shit. In which case, you'll probably get some mileage out of it. But here's the thing, if you, like, hold it up for the boss, and you fight the boss, and it's like you never needed it, or you never got the situation where you're like, I need to spend it. And not to mention, inspiration's a shit mechanic, because there's nothing guaranteed about it. Um... I think my luck system is a bit... My luck system kind of helps, but I, I'm trying to balance it out by saying, okay, you get luck, but you also get doom. Um, so if you want to know how it works, here's how it works. Luck and doom are, are very simple. One is, the, is, is essentially the GM's fiat budget. Uh, the players are limited in how much they can carry. The GM is not. The GM can just sit on as much doom as they want to just fuck over the players whenever they feel like. Uh, doom is generally awarded whenever the players are doing particularly good or get lucky on a roll and they don't spend luck on it. If they spend luck on it, it basically neutralizes doom. Is is The effect you get is that you neutralize any doom accumulation. Uh, monsters rolling one is also doom accumulation. Um, players rolling ones is luck accumulation, as is RP situations or particular scenarios where the team is like, ah, you accumulate doom, or something like that. Um, you get to be liberal with it. Maybe maybe do your players like, ah, you get points whenever you feel like you really earned it, you know. Point is, you can spend them to affect rolls, like, directly. Like, straight up, just add to a roll. Like, the roll's now plus two. And that counts as a natural one, so you can't breach 20. So, at any time, you can just make it a natural 20 and get that critical by spending points before or after. After is a little bit more expensive, but that's the point. And the, the reason I like the system is, one, you have a very granular system. So if you're ever, like, sitting on two points and it's like, oh, I got a 20, or I got a 19, it's like, okay, I'll just spend that that point to those two points to get that natural 20 and feel a little better on myself, you know? Or it's like you're one below the save, or you're like, I need really need to make the save and you'll do it. But the, the better part is, whereas rolling with advantage is like, okay, nothing may come of it. Here you can be with the GM, like, okay, if, if nothing happens, then you still get it. Because the problem with advantage is just, it's not guaranteed anything. And you might say, well, that's, that's good, because that encourages players to... No, 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 here's the thing. When you give players a gimme, you want that gimme to mean something. You want the players to go, oh man, that gimme was awesome. I had a great gimme there. I had a great time because my gimme actually got me something. When players get an exceptionally rare resource and it's not even guaranteed to do anything, I'm sorry, I'm going to be very annoyed. I'm going to be fresh. I'm going to be like, okay. So, rare resource. I spent it. I get nothing. You might say, well, that's the same with spell slots. There's a difference between spell slots and um, inspiration because inspiration is rare and everyone gets into inspiration. It's like it's a universal currency that you can spend to maybe get something done. Like, make it a little bit more potent. Give, give it some, some edge. Maybe make it so that even if you if you roll, like, a worse number, you still get a plus five to your roll or something. I don't know. Like, that alone will make it a lot better, because plus five is the average bonus you'll get out of advantage. So make it a plus five or a minus five if you roll nothing special. <laughs> it doesn't overlap. Like, if you actually roll better, you know, if you roll if you increase by one, you still get that one. But if you, like, roll worse, it's like, okay, just get the, get the roll bonus. Don't worry about it, big boy. Like, that's the thing that gets me, is it's not guaranteed anything. And why is this not mapped? Why isn't this button mapped? This thing is, is slot number five, I know that much, but it's not mapped. Why, though?
Good job. Now hold R until you feel the click. You may have noticed that I didn't actually hold R until I felt the click. I don't know, I just... I'm the kind of person where it's like, if you give the player something to mitigate, give them something that actually mitigates. Or, just rewrite your fucking system so you don't... so advantage is, like, less interesting. I don't know. Not to mention the fact that advantage doesn't stack, and you get advantage so much already. It's, like, the big thing that gets me. Uh, the, the luck rolls, they don't give you advantage. They just give you another reroll, or they force another reroll. That's what they do. And in case you wonder, what does that mean? What does it mean, Mr. Teacher? Um, what it really means is, even if you have adventure disadvantage, you'll just get that extra roll, regardless. How do I open that? Do I have to stick my face in someone's butt? I ain't no dog. Get out of here. I mean, I'm not against the idea of sticking my face in someone's butt, but it's got to be consensual, and it's got to be a clean butt. You know, like, it might as well be their face at that point. This is, this is the kind of butt situation I want to deal with. Now, how do I open the door? Is it that specific one that I have to, to rub my face on? It's the wrong one. Congratulations, me, for talking about butts. Oh, had a ammo junkie going on. I completely wasted it. Thank you. Me, thank you. I don't think this one does uh, shoot doors. Yeah, no shoot doors. What are shoot doors? Uh, in Doom, there are a variety of doors you can open just by gunning them down for some odd reason. Cool, I get the other gun. I wonder how it manages that. I wonder if it, it, if it like, forces certain rolls. Heavy machine gun! And then it goes, okay. And I love it. I love okay. Where are we? The ice crottle. Damn. That's a lot of damage. Got one of them goddamn wizards hanging out in your castle, you just, just gun them down one of these. Give me the old rock'em sock'em robot. Oh, this thing is so much better in this setting because it just takes care of enemies that are frustrating to deal with otherwise. Not to mention, it feels like I'm hunting. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? What do they think they're doing? What does he think he's doing? These are the questions often left unanswered by society at large. We must learn to understand that if we wish to grow as a society, we must answer these questions honestly and fairly. I used to learn the master of that art. 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 I drew a, I drew a thing today. And it's another thing I think I, I want to show to anyone, but... Actually, I'll probably just put it up on my, my, my thing, because no one will ever know. In fact, I think I'm going to do that right now. Remember when I said that someone was going to show up here and be, like, uh, joining the conversation and they haven't shown up yet? I think... I, I think that that... I think that just captures a lot, just so perfectly. Oh my god, I just love it. You know, there's, there's this person who goes like, I want to I do Dungeonies and Dragonies today. Can we do Dungeonies and Dragonies today? It's like, okay. And then they just don't show up. I'm like, okay. That's on you. I know that as the Dungeoni ma Maestro, I have some responsibility. Fuck it. Fuck it, man. Wow. Where is Sonya Oh, no, I'm blazing. Now I'm 420. Blaze it. No. Too much weed number. Yeah. Weed. Smoke day every weed. God damn it. I, I look at that guy doing that and I'm like, oh my god, my fingers hurt from just looking at that. Like he's, he gets trapped and he just hurts himself and it's like, ah! Don't hurt yourself, weed man. Although it's technically cigars and garrettes. Can I go up there? Oh my god. I don't want to be 420 Blaze it. Don't be Billy Blaze. 
Ah. Uh. Why was I up here again? Probably to push a button that I already pushed. Do I want to be over here now? There's a Wings of Wrath up there, so probably. If I can get the fucking door open. Oh. There's a blue key. I love when a gun is so dangerous that just being near it is what kills you. I should upgrade some things. Um, what do I upgrade? Uh, well, these are very good when upgraded. Since I don't have the, the full Metal Alchemist gun yet. Also, look at that damage. Beautiful. I feel this is a little too efficient for... Yeah, it's like, I think it's full seconds of flight. One second, two... Yeah, that's that's basically full seconds of flight. However, it does mean I can legally pick that one up. I love it when I have to say I can legally do this now. By game terms, I'm able to accomplish this objective. Uh, okay, so there's a blue door back there, but I kind of want to see if this place is open up yet. No, nope, it's decided to still just stick its fingers up its nose and pretend that it's not there. How the fuck do I enter that place then? Jesus, Beschmoigen. Only well, because uh, health bonuses don't exist in this one, do they? That's why they drop from enemies. I mean, it's nice if you're trying to keep your... Uh, trying to stay on fleek with your brand, but... Wow. You should really consider getting some more physical damage resistance. Because that's just sad. Fuck it, I'm looking this up. No, I'm just... Apparently, the door is supposed to have opened by now. now. You're supposed to use a chaos device to do this. There we go. I just missed the exact trigger. Soul Sphere. The Glacier! Even the map doesn't look like it at all. That's not a fucking glacier. You tell me, boss. I forgot the extended clip. <laughs> My nose is itchy, sorry. Spare parts are like a belt. <laughs> Man, I really want to do more Dungeonis and Dragonis. I really do. Never get the chance. I kind of want to do. Th I, I really want to do the Crystal Straw module. Man, I really want to run that one. I really, really do. Um, mostly because I got a whole bunch of plans to make that thing shaken up a bit, and after that, you know. Like, here's the thing. If I have to run it, 5e is just so much more fun. Because 5e is just a lot less burden on the, the GM. Ow. What the hell? I guess I was too far off the angle or something? Oh, whatever. I don't know. That being said, the primary reason I want to play Pathfinder is the Pathfinder game they want to play is a game that I made when I was a little dipshit and I was an idiot, and it just doesn't... It's not going to fucking work. And they're like, we want to play this because it's cool, and I'm like, fuck. No. Here's the thing that I get, right? They're like, okay, there's an alien invasion going on. They're like, let's go fight crime lords. And I'm like, w what? I set you guys up with an alien abduction. You get dropped in the middle of a country you don't know. Your first inclination is let's go fight crime? Why do you want to play the setting again? Because if you just want to fight crime, we can just start another Rokugan setting and just fight crime. Oh, God. I hate, it when, I hate it when players are like that. I hate it when, when people do that. It's like, listen, there's a point to a campaign. There's a, there's a certain design philosophy that goes into how a campaign is, is, is playing out. 
And it, it's weird when you decide, you know, halfway through, you're like, let's just go that direction now. For no reason, let's just go the other direction. I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm not going to say no to them, because technically speaking, it is a perfectly valid answer to the question of what do you want to do next. Um, but you get the point, right? Is this called Glacier because it's just a big fuck-off glacier? Because that doesn't count. That's illegal. Illegal. Do not bully. This is a no-bully zone. Aren't I just a door blessed? I get to open two doors. Should have made it so they even pick it up. It says heavy machine gun. I'm great. Get down on the ground. I'm a trained officer of the law, which really only just means that I shoot very good. Scratch one tango. Scratch one tango. Scratch one tango. Oh. What are those, the ammo box? Oh, they look so cute! Look at those boxes! <laughs> they look so poorly cut off the model. It's Adora Blessed. I also just love the term, Adora Blessed. It's a great term. It's a great term for great people. You're not just Adora, but you're Adora Blessed. Also, I bought the Tenora. Tenora's great uh, in Warframe. Love it. Get down on the ground. The more bullets I shoot, the more accuracy I get. All right, there was a great friend. Uh, super great friends. Um, recent uh, thing with what's it called? What was it called again? I think it's the same voice actor who did this and uh, Cygnus from Guncaster. Um, but yeah, the the whole ending of uh, what was it fucking called again? Omicron. I, I was kind of sad because that was a nice series to watch. Um, but seeing it end, he he make he makes such a like it's always funny when someone plays a game. It's like by the way, this plot could have been so much better if you just focused on this much lower budget alternative. And it just makes you realize how much of a hack fraud. David Cage's. When a good plot is just staring around the eye, he's like, I don't know how to make a video game out of this. If I recall correctly, he has some sort of resistance, uh, or maybe it's... No, 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 it's the thing of the Fire Maze. The Fire Maze does less damage to certain big enemies, like it does, like, limited damage to sort of prevent them from being too strong. And I think it's... I think this kind of why did a lot of things the way they did them. Why is there a white little footpad in front of all of these? This might specifically be to mark that you've gone through them or something. I don't know. I ain't no scientist. I'm barely trained. I'm barely potty trained. Let's just let's just get these cards on the table. Shall we? Let's just put these old G Willikers on the table. I got obligations today. That's the part that gets me the most. I've got shit to do today. I don't want to have shit to do. Man, I, this just makes me want to play Heretic without the Trailblazer mod, because the, the vanilla weapons are cool. What's this? Oh. What the fu- Did I just make tank armor? 50 points of junk.
sorry. But thanks for the Merlots. <laughs> so what's Alchemist's dream again? Well, it takes 200 junk, so good luck. So what do I do now? I got the blue key. Where's the blue door? It's all the way back at start. Busy here, sir. Magic, magic map. Ooh. The masses. This looks great. Oh, this is the level where I started to notice that noise. That's what this level's gonna be known for forever. Poor, sexy little baby. I'm a sexy little baby. <laughs> and that'd be probably the most disgusting thing I'd ever see in my life. But it's so funny to say. Sorry! Didn't mean to be so aggressive about it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I don't want to go down there quite yet. Those are <laughs> the little green crosses. Oh, you sassy boy. Turns out the red cross is very defensive of that. I got Sam Fisher's fancy spin. Of course! I'm gonna play more Avengers of Squares. That was a nice. Like, Avengers of Squares, for as much shit as I gave it in the later chapters of, like, okay, this is more that one. Really was, like, a good series. It really was a, a fun little, little romp, romp stop. It got a little too fucking far up its ass in terms of level design, though. Now you might ask, okay, what, is, what does it fucking mean for a level design to be up its ass? It, it kind of started doing things it should have done. And it started doing it with the confidence of someone who thinks he knows what they're doing. Um, so if you show up here too early, the game's like, nah, you're fucked. At least it isn't vanilla heretic mode, it's pretty nasty. Okay. How does Doom sound work yet? Uh, because I know that Doom is a sound system where enemies are able to detect your presence based on you firing your gun, but I forgot exactly how it triggers aggression. Because there is a limit to what enemies can, can pick up on.
Maybe a green key to open this door? Are you fucking kidding me, man? I don't have that kind of money. Oh, that's the exit. <laughs> Stop chanting. I'll be over there in a second. Oh, my back. Ooh. Ooh. Call it quad damage all you want, but it's still just gonna be four times. Usually it stops hurting after a night, but uh, last night was weird. For some reason, I slept like garbage. I don't know why. Um, I I, I went to bed on time, but I just couldn't get the good Z's. Okay, Mr. I'll kick your ass, Mr. President. How did you just put on the hardest? Do, does does this one do the the respawning stuff like enemies respawning? Because if it doesn't, I'll just switch it to the highest mode. What are the what are the warning signs for higher levels? No information. Not interested. And so, 40 minutes in, the person who said they were going to show up has not shown up yet. I'm not... I'm not going to sass them, but... Dude. Don't say you're going to come if you're not going to fucking show up! Like, people are infinitesimally more frustrated by you not showing up when you said you would. You know. I don't know, man. I'm just frustrated. Jesus, just knocks him down the hallway. Just fucking owns them. I keep getting quad damage. That's a lot of damage. But where is the, well, the blue door's all the way back there? Okay. Time to 420 blaze it then. Billy Blaze here. fast enough. Got the windows open. There's no kind of video game things you just don't have in, in games anymore these days. You walk into to an inn in Dungeons and Dragons, you're like, can I interact with Windows? Like, I'm not done developing that content yet. It's like, what the fuck, man? Why are you even making content if you're not gonna fucking develop it? Oh, this level sucks. It's not interesting. The game makes just a bit. Eh. Normally, an, an ant gimmick is generally compensated for by just a good level design, but here it's just like, it's a central area that just gets me like, eh, whatever. It's kind of neat to have this, like, traversal area for them, but you could have done without the whole moving and moving around a whole bunch. <sighs> I'm gonna go for a walk after this. Yeah, 
I got way too many bonuses because every single goddamn fucking item under the fucking sun gets converted into something decent. Oh my god, my back. Uh. I think after this, I'm just gonna sit downstairs for a bit. Have a nice little yogurt. And then come back a little bit later when I feel like it. Because I can just take a break. Fun fact, I can just... You might say, why don't you just stream this? I don't want to stream it, because then when I take a break, I can't fucking take a break. You know? Also, streaming is just not working out. Like, I don't have the audience to even begin streaming, so I'm like, eh, I'll just fuck it. I'll just do YouTube. Have fun. I want to have fucking fun. If I have to entertain a live studio audience, this is not fun anymore. It's like, that's why I did this the way I did it. It's because I don't want to have to fucking put up with anyone. It's me time. My time. Having fun time. Eating a big old chicken sandwich time. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go eat a big chicken sandwich and uh, we'll see what comes of it. Gotta have this. Need more ammo! What ammo? Turn to paste. Paste taken instantaneously in my photographic genes if I do so myself. Safe. What is he pick? When is, when is, is, is that man? What's his name again? Proton, Jontron, whatever his name is. Something with a with a train. Um, I wonder who's gonna upload more. Just more of that. a beautiful game. For beautiful people. So if you're not beautiful, please, please, please forget that I ever mentioned that game's name. It doesn't exist! It's it's a lie told by liars. I wonder if I'll the thing. Well, we got the green key! Now we can live the green man's dream! I'm gonna take that break now. Ah, that was nice. That was nice. That was, uh... Mmm, tasty. Ah, little sips. You know, I wonder, can you do one-sided, like, one vector thick walls in this game, or not? Because if you no clip out of bounds, the game does like stop you from re-entering. I mean, maybe they didn't do it a realist realism purpose. It's not realistic. The players, just, the players can just walk around. There's a button for half ammo. This would be a lot more interesting. Or like a quarter ammo. Or, 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 or... Or like, a oh. No ammo. No ammo at all. You just, you just get no bullets. It's all in the mind. Cry really loudly and pray to the nine divines. Time to destroy. To annihilate. To turn to ash. What was once ash? You have been annihilated. And I have become. What a match. With gun. Why did I give me a gun this late? Is a question I want to answer to. Like, it's really late in the in the in the, the thing in the in the level and they're like, here's a gun. Safe. It's you! It's a me, Azyla. 
I went and got a sandwich and stuff. Oh great. What amazing, amazing, amazing thing you did. I've also been writing, so. Been writing, huh? Yep, working on another story. Which means I mostly spent like an hour trying to get myself to actually start writing. And then spent like less than an hour writing like five pages. Heck. Because I am an extreme burst writer. Yeah. So what you playing? I don't know. Can I can I do anything with Screecher? I don't know if that's a yes or a no. It is. It's a yes. I... Okay. So. What a wild world we live in. It oh. is. Oh. So what's your plan for the night, Sappers? Uh, I gotta pop off in about an hour. I think. No, no, I'm supposed to call my mother in 30 minutes, then leave in an hour or something like that. Hmm. Point is, I don't have forever. Oh. Well, if you get back, since I'm not working tomorrow, uh, and we can all stay up then, we can table the top. <gasps> Wouldn't that be something novel? I know, it's been a while. I, <clears throat> I would love to do this, like, a lot. So, so we need to discuss like how is is Fee gonna be there because Fee is like the big uh, that changes. Fee will be there. Fee's just up for a minute to go get something. Uh, Fee slept for like eighteen hours last night. So, what? Yeah, Fee was out cold all day. So they should be pretty fine. Fee was uh, we were chatting around with the Fee for a bit, but the Fee went to go and get something. So he'll be back. And we just gotta wait for the core to get off work in an hour. Which, you, you'll be gone, but you know, when you get back, the core will be here. So, well, okay. But don't forget. Whatever. Somebody smells like old horseradish. Don't forget the what, though, uh, sappers? No, that I'm recording this. So. Go, yeah, that's why I'm not saying anything here. Don't go spoiling the last four numbers of your credit card. Uh, have fun using it. It's Chinese people watching this. It doesn't work outside of China. Apparently, I've tried. Wow. I found the old horseradish. So, uh, on the upside, staffers, uh, my current manager, who is actually stepping down to just teach again in a couple months, because he doesn't like managing. Uh, he's going to help me do the paperwork to send uh, my money to my American card. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. Yeah, I was asking about that. Uh, apparently, because there's a sending limit, it's like you can only send $500 a day, but also a monthly maximum. But if you do the tax paperwork, which Christian knows how to do, so he's going to help me with, you can go in and use a routing number to send it directly to any account in America with no spending limit. And it's got like a twenty dollar surcharge, which for how much money I'm sending kind of means nothing. So, big money. That well, and that also means I don't have to take it all out in cash, which is why one big worry was taking like walking in with a 10... duffel bag of money. Well, I was gonna be carrying roughly ten thousand dollars in cash. Uh, as long as I can keep my budget, I should be finishing, not counting what I'm spending on my hotels before I leave. I should be getting about ten thousand dollars out of this job. Awesome. With non-taxable income. <gasps> because it's not technically income, you're just bringing money with you. Yep. And because I'm a foreigner in China, I actually get dramatically reduced taxes. How about it's not as good as Korea, where I had no taxes. Yeah, I know what they say. No taxes, no faxes. Also, that, I, I, bought, I, bought, I bought a little book for, for, for 5e because someone was like, here's, a, here, here's the Swole Kobold, and in that book is, is the Fox Lord, Reinhard. Ooh, I want to see this. Also, if it's a Swole Kobold, can we just call it a Swole Bold? It is called a Swole Bold. Oh my god, yes. It's, it's, it's literally just a big beefcake. I love this. I'll, I'll show you them, I'll show you. <laughs> 
That's great. That's great. No, that whole movie's really good. Thor Ragnarok. They decided, what if uh, Thor didn't suck? And then they made Thor Ragnarok, and it was like, oh, that, that's really good. Awesome. And we also have this uh, moment, which is just the greatest method acting from Chris Hemsworth. <clears throat> yeah, I'm... I'm... The snake story. Snake story. slept in which is weird i usually wake up when my alarm goes off but not today uh -huh. Sleeping. i don't know why it, it was a stormy night but i like stormy nights it makes me go Ooh. Ooh, but for some reason i woke up feeling like trash oh it's kind of weird no i have we all have those nights sometimes like i really like the uh, stormy nights too was why when there were some um, lightning storms a couple weeks ago i was really into it what's the weather like there anyway Right now, uh, the last couple days, the air has been tremendously clear because there's an international meeting, so they turned off all the factories. Oh, yeah, yeah, you told me about that. Uh, it's been pretty mild lately. It's not, like, super hot lately, which is nice, because it kind of was. Uh, the last few days, it's been mostly either cloudy or clear. Uh, a couple weeks ago, it was in the excessively rainy time period. That's pretty nice lately. Uh, uh, October is supposed to be the best month of the year for aging weather. And oh, that's when I'm there. going to uh, climb the wild Great Wall with home. What? The wild Great Wall. Never heard of it. There's two parts of the Great Wall. Tourist areas and the wild parts that aren't uh, tourist available. They're also not really upkept. Okay. In that sense. Yes. So we're going to go and climb that in uh, October. It's going to be cool. See, those always sound like they come out pretty bad at the end. What? Whenever you have a thing called a portal of chaos, you always gotta think, is this gonna kill me? Well, considering the limitations of the engine at the time, it's probably fine. Uh, what engine? Well, this is my also source port. It is heretic. Wow. There's a limit to what they could really do with it. Well, they could put like really strong currents and just make you go all over the place. Ooh. They don't. I don't think it's just a like boss level. Period. Still sounds like it should be pretty badass. I mean, even if it's not badass, the title adds five points of badassery.
my baby. I just love how I said that for forever. <laughs> hmm? Bada boom, bada bing. Oh, she still says it sometimes. I know, but the fact that we found out that she wasn't saying it intentionally, <laughs> that she just actually got <laughs> She's it saying wrong. it wrong. <laughs> Like, it's fine if you're saying it intentionally, but when you're, like, accidentally saying it wrong, it's kind of cute. It is. Claire is a cute. The gay students. Oh, God, those gaynesses. You're just the gayest of all sneezes. Holy crap! That's awesome. That's very impressive. See what, what the highest difficulty level looks like. Terrifying. Now I'm doing Trailblazer, so it's modified difficulty levels. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. Okay, 20 damage, that's fair. Well, I don't know what the difference is, but since there's no regenerating monsters, I'll just tight. On the hardest that's difficulty a, mode. Let's just see how that works. Out for me. My, uh, the last one, the Xeno Jeevo one, with the big crystal boy. And Claire just told me, uh, stop ruining Yu-Gi-Oh! 